Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I have a video explaining about the new damage rotation perk called um, Envious Arsenal. Uh, the cool thing about Envious Arsenal is the, it's again, it's supposed to be the new damage rotation perk that Bungie has made. And it's on a quite a few like weapons and ideally it is on a grenade launcher and also on a rocket from Trials. Uh, what's really cool is that you can also uh, enhance this right away, which the enhanced version also gives a bump in uh, reserves. So it definitely is kind of ideal at this point to have. But what does envious, uh, an envious uh, arsenal do? When dealing damage with both other weapons before readying this weapon, refills it from reserves. So how this kind of works is you're going to be kind of like you'll shoot your heavy first if you don't have bait and switch obviously if you have bittersweet or if you have wicked sister which both can roll with bait and switch you would actually want to do your two weapons then swap to your heavy gel but in my instance i in my testing i did not have a bait and switch i just had one with uh envious arsenal and i believe i had explosive flight so what is making what makes this perk so great is that it's actually a very instant reload. And I have here in the footage here that I have is um it actually procs off of just hits as well. Meaning that if you have a cloud strike or a weather horde, a um lost signal, or if you have the new stasis exotic grenade launcher that has primary ammo, uh Elenomini. I do not know how to pronounce that right, but it also can do damage over time. Anything that can apply damage over time from a weapon does count as the initial hit. And then pretty much you, the rotation will be is that you'll spam your heavy, swap to secondary since you tagged your target with either Weather Horde or a tick damaging weapon. And then you go back to DPS with your GL. Now, from my testing, it looks like the Alanemony and Wither Horde are actually the top tier picks, in my opinion, on being more consistent, as Lost Signal kind of has more of a tighter uh, damage tick, though it is very possible to pull off. Well, also, if you're using Cloud Strike, it also is kind of hard to pull off. Well, not hard, but like it is very tight to pull off because you're relying on the clouds. I don't have um, any footage of me using Cloud Strike because I found that it's very optimal for me after, for day one Vespers hosts to run um, a GL of some kind for the Breach and Clear modifier or uh, a seasonal artifact. So what's making this really strong in the first place is, well, I'm going to be showing you just as in uh, Alanemony when using it with partnered up with a um, Indebted Kindness, this actually can give me my Transcendence back really fast. Now, why do we want Transcendence so badly? Well, on that, you can apply a Stasis debuff with your Warlock uh, um, grenade, Transcendent Grenade, which then leads into the uh, artifact perk, which be Conductive Cosmic Crystal which your abilities, uh, Arc, Void, or anything with the Dark Aether Reaper origin trait, which will be bittersweet, will have a um, do bonus damage to targets that are affected by stasis debuff. And then with that being said, you can now have, I believe um, from our testing, from my testing, it is a 5% increase on the damage, but don't take everything I say to heart on how much the big damage increase, but it is very noticeable if you don't apply a debuff. So what's happening here is that I'm able to proc, um, I'm, since I have better suite, I'm able to take benefit from this and use my transcendent grenade to then get this free buff, while also my grenade and also my breach gel, which will be anonymity, is applying weaken so then I can have a more higher debuff. Now, when I'm doing this testing, 
I'm also in a Song of Flame, which in uh, day one Vesper's hosts, I'll be using um, Voidwalker, but this is backup as well to just walk, just walk with that. And I think it's very interesting because of how this uh, works, how just Envious Arsenal works. I think it's very busted in my opinion, um, just how crazy good it is pretty much making this, I would say a very, very top tier perk, but also might get, um, after this video, maybe, um, depending if no one else has posted it yet, um, <laughs> would be, um, uh, broken, I would say due to, um, well, it, <laughs> the internal cooldown is, well, absolutely none. So I would say, uh, if you don't have a better suite, definitely try to get a better suite. If you don't, um, don't be too discouraged. Um, there is Wicked Sister, though um, right now with Bittersweet, uh, with Dark Aether Reaper Origin Trait and this is a seasonal artifact going on um, it, for this season so far, or this episode, my bad. It's a bittersweet um, kind of season. So um, definitely pick yourself a, a better suite, but if not, Wicked Sister also works. But I just wanted to show you that. I'll I'll play the rest of this clip of me just doing my damage rotations and showing you which one is what. But uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. That actually not bad rotation. That's way better. That's also because I have a double dip in surges, but that's that's also another rotation that I found that works. And that is the rotation of Wither Horde. And it looks like it does better. So, yeah. So it's, it just depends on like how tight the other rotation will be. Though I didn't have explosive light on my shots, it still looks like it'll be the same amount of damage, almost. Not quite, but I feel like this might be the kind of the meta for it right now. Is running that if I'm going to be running this setup. So, uh, yeah. Okay.